Uh, let's get over to Ariel Placencia, who's keeping an eye on the state's power grid. We always watch that now, especially uh, because of what happened last February, even though we're not expecting anything like that. Uh, we're also looking at road conditions where you are. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you're seeing there, Ariel. Yeah, Jason, I'm kind of keeping my eye on a bunch of different things, which is why you'll see a lot of maps behind me, but we'll go through them slowly. And we're going to start with ERCOT there. You were just mentioning it. We obviously keep a very close eye on this when storms roll in. Notice the blue here. This is demand. This is what we need. Purple capacity. Obviously, you want a big gap in between the two to make sure that we have what we need. And at this hour, we're doing a OK. You walk over to this graph, you'll see graph. You'll see all green. There is enough power for the current demand. So good news there. Do want to give you a quick update on those power outages as well. Encore's map is showing us here. They've got 250 customers without power, and you'll notice they're kind of spread throughout the Metroplex here. 250 people. They are working to get the lights turned back on for them, so they are working very, very hard at this hour. Now, I do want to end with some traffic notes because unfortunately we are seeing some major problems in this department. Notice here, this is the eastbound lanes. I-30 right there at Bass Pro. This is the bridge over Lake Ray Hubbard. Look how slowly, and my camera's frozen just a tiny bit, but this traffic is moving slowly all throughout the day. The other lane's moving A-OK, -okay, but this has been due to a crash that happened a couple of hours ago. Notice how far these backup extend, so that's why I wanted to show you this map here. One look at the Metroplex as a whole, you are going to notice a lot of orange, yellow, and red on your screen. That basically tells us that for the cars that are out there, they are going very slowly, well below the speed limit. You heard that my colleague Adriana was in Denton County, where they have seen several problems. I'm still seeing crashes in that area here, so one last thing I want to mention, I-35E in and out of Denton County, especially those northbound lanes, look at all these crashes that we've got here. So if you are in this area, please take it slow, and I'll be keeping an eye on this area moving forward. Jason. Yeah, Ariel, important to note, too, especially when these uh, roads are so slick like this, uh, authorities will shut down a pretty long expanse there because they don't want people to slide into what's already there. So some of these weights can get pretty tremendous out there.